Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. Um, so yesterday I did an unboxing um, and I said that I would show you how I was going to put the box and everything together. So what I've done so far is I have just painted it. So I've painted it on all the things. I put it together. So as I showed you there, uh, there's a top. Um, there is a bottom like this so the top goes in perfectly like that onto here so you've got a beautiful box and obviously it slots into position and I've just painted it on all sides I've taken some of the beautiful papers and I have put one in the um, the lid inside is that the lid or the bottom? No, that's the bottom. So in the bottom inside, I've put one of the lovely papers and I painted it with, and I've had this for a long, long time. This is um, shimmer paint from um, um, Cosmic. I can't even read this anymore. Shows how bad my eyesight is. Uh, Cosmic Shimmer. So it's Cosmic Shimmer Shimmer Paint. And this colour is... Peacock. Um, so I painted all of the box with the peacock and then I painted in exactly the same Cosmic Shimmer paint, um, Cosmic Shimmer Shimmer paint, and this one is Tarnished Silver. So I've done the accessories, which are these pieces, and I've just given them a coat of the silver and I've done the little elephants as well in the silver because these take a while to dry. So I've left this overnight glued and to dry and I've just put in the piece in the bottom. So that piece is done. I've now got these pieces that I've cut. So this was cut at four. So if you bought the box, this is cut at four and three quarters square and that fits perfectly in the bottom. These pieces are cut at two inches and I think they're going to be fair I might have to just put them down a tiny bit two inches by um five inches now you can see on this it needs to be cut down just a sliver um less so let's do that now and as I say this video is me doing it as I'm doing it so there's no um no editing or anything like that so you can actually see how I go about doing things and not so I'm literally just taking a sliver off of the bottom of here um, literally just a that's a sliver um, so probably an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to offer it up again so let's see that's perfect because I don't want it to be proud so that's fine so I can do this Oh, that is absolutely perfect. So I just need to take a sliver off of all four of these pieces. So that's one. And what I've done with these is there's such beautiful papers that what I, I want to do with all of them, that might just need a little bit more of a sliver, actually, like that. Um... What I've done is I've looked through the papers. Almost all the papers are just absolutely stunning. So we don't need too much. That's another little sliver. And this one again. So just a tiny. So it's it's probably two and seven eighths. Um, literally, I've just, as you can see, just taken tiny little slivers off. Because as I say, I don't want it to be proud. Now, what you can do if you want to is you can put it on a little bit proud. You can sand it down and that will work as well. But because this is going to be the, um, it's the bottom, isn't it? I want to have these just so that it looks pretty. So I'm just going to literally glue those on now so you can see that part. It's easier to see it on there because... With the way it's it's put together, you're going to see the little lugs on there. And I don't like that. I want it to look as if it's um, it's not sort of put together. So 
I'm just looking at each side to see which side I like the best because it really doesn't matter which one. And I'm using my um, Tombow glue. You can use um, indigo blue, slap it on. Um, there's whatever glue you want that you know is going to stick onto here and is going to just look beautiful. Now, you can if you want to, which I'm not going to do, but if you wanted to, you can varnish over the top. Um, I may well do it at a later date. I don't know. When it's all finished, I'll have a look. But I don't know whether I will need to do that. Um, you know, it's not going to have hardware on it. So it's not going to be roughly used. It's going to be quite gently used. So that goes on there. I'm just taking these all four around. Look at that colour. You see, I love that side. Um, and all of these pieces will go because they're they're sort of a, an Indian print. Um, I showed you them all if, um, in the previous video. So just look back and see unboxing and you will see all of the papers and the box, everything as it was as I unboxed it. So that's on that side, this one on here. And again, I want this lovely sort of gold side because I'm doing quite a bit of gold on here. So I'm just quickly gluing this on so you can see it. to make sure I've got glue right up to my corners. I always say to you, make sure the glue's up to your corners because the things that will lift is the glue in the corners. So, you know, if, if it's not glued down properly in the corner, what happens is that it, it'll end up catching. Okay, so that has given me, and I just need to make sure that I'm smoothing it across all the way around. So that's given me a nice corner piece on there. You've got that on there. That's on the bottom. How beautiful does that look? Absolutely stunning. Love it. OK, so the top of the box is going to come in over the top like this. And I've cut this piece to go in over the top on here. So this is cut at... Um, the box is six inches, so it's cut at five and three quarters because, again, I wanted this little board around it. Now, what I can do, and in fact, I think I might do it. I'm going to put, because there's quite a lot of gold and stuff going around. Do I want to do a gold border around here to just accentuate it? No, I'm just going to do it on there. I think there's going to be too much otherwise. So this one, as I say, is cut at five and three quarters square. And this is the piece that's going to go onto the top. So again, I'm going round all of the corners and edges first with the glue to make sure that that's on there. And then just right the way across the top. Okay. And then I can just put this on here to just make sure I've got a nice little border. And this is why I chose this particular colour um, of Cosmic Shimmer, because I knew that it would match the papers beautifully. You know, this colour is an exact match so that it makes it look absolutely beautiful. OK, so that's the top part down on here. Now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to move that to one side because on here we've got these corner pieces. And what I wanted to do was this is part of the waste. So when you're popping some of the bits out, you'll have little pieces left over like all of these little pieces. And I thought that these would actually look like... Um, Oh, what do you call them? Um, like rivets on the side. You know, if a box has been made sort of out of um, cast iron or whatever, you can have sort of little decorative pieces. So that's what I'm putting on there. So again, I've decorated these with gold Posca pen 
and then I've put some um, Pebeo gilding wax on there. So I'm just literally gluing this on here and I want it sideways so it looks as if it's like a, um, a hinge on the side. So that can just go down there. You see how lovely that looks? And then I'm going to put another one on the other side. I want to make sure that I've got enough glue coming on here so that there's um, this glue dries clear so I don't have to worry. I think most of the glue does. I think their slap it on does as well. But, you know, use what you've got. When I've run out of this, I might actually treat myself to some of the slap it on because I know it's very good. But I've got lots of this. So and I use it for all my other craft. So. Now, can you see how lovely that looks? Can you see it on there? Yes. Let's bring that just that way a little bit. So I need to just wait for that to, dr to dry. Put that in on there and just make sure that that just stays in like that. And then, so I'm going to do it on all four corners, but I will wait for each piece to dry because I don't want it to fall off. So that's going to be on the lid. So we've got this on the top. We've got that on the side. Then I've got the elephant. So the elephants will fit literally in between here like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to just add a little bit of gold just to the bottom of the elephants, I think. And we'll have the silver at the top. Or do I just keep the elephant in the silver? Because I think I will actually. I'm going to have the elephant literally like that. Just with the silver on. Because I think that that will just make it look beautiful. I could put just gold along the bottom. But I don't, I don't know. I think that might... It might look quite good, actually, because that'll tie it in. So I'm going to do that with um, my, here we go, my Pebeo pen. So I'm taking this out of here and I'm just going to do where the um, ground is. I'm just going to do, I'm only going to do one for you so you can see. And I will carry on and do it afterwards. So I'm just doing this on top. Because then that gives a gold piece. The elephants still are going to be grey or silver. Because you don't really have gold elephants. So that's going to come out like that. And then I just need to leave that to dry. But can you see how that will then, once it's dried, that will then pick up when that goes on there. Can you see it will pick up the, it's not quite dry yet, but can you see how that will then pick up the colour of that? And that will work perfectly. But again, it's all about leaving things to dry. Um, you know, don't do too much at, at one time. OK, so now I've got these pieces, which are the pieces to go onto the lid. So I'm going to just try putting it this way. And I know it might fall off because I haven't got the uh, it hasn't dried yet. But that's the paper. So as I say, wait for your pieces to dry. This is going to come in on top like this, but I want to add some more colour to it. Um, because I don't want it just in silver, so I want some gold on it. So what I'm going to do is, let's put that to one side, because that's going to take a while to dry. I can put that on there, make sure that doesn't fall over. Um, so on these ones, and you will notice, I made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, it's quite difficult to pop these, just to warn you. These pieces go in here. So these are the ones that are going to be my keys. They go in there and I managed to lose two of these and lose one of those. And there's a little piece of that missing. However, I managed to get all the pieces out. So these I'm going to glue in. 
but just be aware that when you're popping the pieces out these are really really difficult to do and also this and I haven't even tried any more because it started splitting to try and get these little ones out so I'm going to put some gems over the top now I don't know whether it's me I don't know whether it, it's it was one that just didn't have quite enough um what do you call it? it hadn't hadn't been cut lasered cut right the way through I don't know but I can rectify it and it's not going to make a huge difference so on this one I want to give it a little bit of sort of gold in on there so I've got some of the luscious pigment powder which is in the gold and I'm going to put a little bit of it on a block and just add a little bit of water to it so have I got water on here yes I have so I'm just going to add Do I need to get some more water? No, I don't. There we go. A bit of water on there. And then I just need to... I don't think I want too much, so I just want to get my brush in. Can you see? You, it's easy to get a lot. And I'm just going to put this in on here. So we've got a different bit of gold in on here. And can you see how it really sparkles? Just add a little bit more on here. I want it fairly thick like a paste and I don't want too much of it because it's literally just going to um, almost like brush on so I just want to take it in oh actually I might do the whole thing in there that's going to be beautiful over the top of there so I'm going to do this over the top like that can you see how beautiful that's coming out lovely now I want it to be just slightly I don't want it to be completely do I want it all gold I might have it all gold actually now, I don't know whether I should paint it or whether I should just sponge it patience isn't it I don't have a lot of patience as you probably can tell um I probably need to get a little pot with some water in, don't I? Right, let me just see if I can do that because that's giving a gorgeous gold look. So bear with me a second while I get some water. Okay, I'm just getting a bigger block because um, I had to wash them up because I used the other paint on there. So I'm just going to put this on here. Come on. Okay, quite a bit of paint on here. Look, can you see how beautiful it is? So all I want to do is to just take this in like this a little bit more. And this is just, it gives such a beautiful colour on there. Lovely. That's better. And you can see how the pigment literally just gives such a beautiful colour. So I can just take it in. Bring that in over the top. I'm just going to take it round. And what I might do is just give a little bit more on here. The more water you have, the more it um, just sort of blends through a bit. So I'm just taking it through like this and you get this beautiful gold on here. But I like having the sort of the silver coming through a little bit on there. That's darker on there, but you can see how it just comes through. I can just add a little bit more. Just add it in on top. 
you can see on here where this one has come off just a little bit as well but as I say I think I've got enough little pieces that I can stick it on when I get in there but it's it's very 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 delicate so when you come to do yours be aware that it will I couldn't I couldn't not um, I tried ever so carefully and it just literally fractured on those little pieces um, it's the sort of thing you could take the whole thing out but um, I thought well no I'm going to leave it and and just try and get those little pieces in but look at this color how beautiful is that that's really sort of opulent gold isn't it if i can just take that back and you can see how it's me getting my fingers on there make sure i've got that one on there so you can add on here I can just add a little bit more on here to just give it's because it's got so much pigment in it what you can do is you can just add some extra bits in there as you're going so again it's another thing let it dry um, yes you can use a heat gun yes you can speed it up but to be quite honest it's going to be so beautiful that you don't want to be um, rushing it you know it's like everything don't rush your stuff can you see how this one is just sort of disintegrating on me right so that i've got to just let that one dry but can you see how beautiful that is now this is going to come in on top do i have some of it in silver some of it in gold I think I might actually, because the elephants are going to be in gold, aren't they? I think I might. So I'm going to leave that one like that for now. But you can see with the luscious how that's going to come beautifully. And as I say, I will just keep sort of touching it up, adding just a little bit more in there. So where I think I want it a little bit golder, I can just add a little bit more on like this. And if I don't want it quite as gold... I can let some of the silver sort of shine through a bit. So that is just beautiful like that. And in fact, these ones, again, are just slightly different. So I think that's quite nice. I quite like the fact that you've got different colours on there. So I'm going to leave it like that on this. So this is going to be like part two. And then on the last one, I will have most of it put together. And you will then be able to see the whole finished thing. So again, it just gives you a different idea of how to make it. And I might actually do a little bit of stenciling as well. I got the stencil out and I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing. Um, but I don't know whether I will have time to do that on this one. So this has just got to be put to one side again to dry. And this one, as I say, is the silver. And I think I'm going to have that on top. So I'm going to have silver and gold on there. So that can go out of the way. That one's dried. Those I just need to give a wipe, um, which I can do because I've got a... Let me take my cloth in here. So I can just take that off. Lovely bit of gold on my tissue, which when I come to do another background, I've got that on. A little bit on this one like that so that's those on and then I can give these a little bit more of a wipe when I get round to it so this stencil what I'm thinking of doing is and I don't know whether I will do it on I might do it on the bottom I might do it on on not on the sides because I've got the elephant but I might do it inside if I can but what I'm thinking of doing is to put this in and I don't know whether it'll, it will probably work on the inside. So if I do put this in like this, if I can get it in, and I don't know whether I will, I might have to do it on some paper. But what I wanted to do was to take this in and to just give a bit of extra texture with this stenciling, because again, the stencil works beautifully. Can you see how that works beautifully with all of that? So I'm going to do some stenciling with it. Um, 
and then I'm going to finish off with this this is now almost like um, glued and I'm going to put my elephant in on the center like that because I think that that works just beautifully like that and then I'm going to do all the other ones which again will take me quite a while so I'm going to leave it like that and then I will come back on a third video to show you the whole thing finished so thank you so much for watching me as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye <laughs>